mostly about trying to discover biodiversity, so to find new species and then to organize them into um, natural classifications that reflect evolutionary relationships. And it also involves uh, understanding this, the, the history, the natural history of uh, North America and the world uh, through looking at the genetics of the plants. They're so well adapted to what is a very difficult place to live. And so what we find is that they tend to be very compact. They tend to have enormous flowers. Um, also adaptations such as hairs that are found along their leaves. Uh, also a, a fact that they need to flower and survive in this difficult environment. Uh, so in that sense they, they, they really stand out from other types of plants. Well, really, there's a really big link between uh, Students on Ice and the museum. The museum really has two roles. One is research and the other is public education. And uh, Students on Ice allows us to achieve both goals. I get the chance to go to places like here that we never even thought we would stop at. And of course, I would probably never have arrived here had it not been for Students on Ice. And at the same time, in the public e education role, well, I get the chance not only to converse with my colleagues that are here that work on things like geology and so on, but to share my passion with the students and hopefully, as I said, educate them more about the plants and maybe they'll become botanists someday. Last year, which is of great interest, is that I was able to make collections, which I use in a study this year, and I'm hoping by next year that we'll actually have it published. So we had very specific objectives. We're working on barcoding and plants, and so what we've developed uh, prior to the trip last year was a database. But the next step was to actually test the database to see whether you could use it for practical purposes. So one of my colleagues was in the West Arctic. I was with students on ice in the East Arctic and I collected a whole mess of sedges which I gave to my graduate student who had no idea what species they could possibly be and she of course sequenced them for plant DNA barcodes and now we're in the process of analyzing that data and the interesting thing is that the, the database itself is almost perfect, almost 100% uh, able to identify the plants and it's also been able to identify things that uh, were not part of the database. So we're hoping to even find sedges that were not previously known to be on the, the uh, Arctic Archipelago Islands in the Arctic. Mm -hmm.